Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Hardy and my channel is My Montana Kitchen. I have hundreds of recipes at MyMontanaKitchen.com where you can find delicious, family-friendly, fail-proof recipes that your family can enjoy every day of the week. Today, I'm going to share an older video that I thought I had already put on YouTube, but apparently I had not. So I'm just gonna give a little introduction here and then I'm gonna share this video. The video was taken four years ago, four and a half years ago about, and it was right when COVID was starting. So if you hear some references to it, that's what that's about. Um, but today I made some Baobab Boost tea and I thought I, I need to just share that. I probably need to get it put up on my website too and that, that will be coming. But I'm just gonna share how easy it is to make this. You use oolong tea, use baobab powder, stevia, lemon, bam. Now we're in, at the time of publishing this, it is um, the middle of October. And you know, that's when people start getting sick and it's the flu season and all those things. So this is a great thing to add to your daily, uh, daily drinks. Just make one of these up. Drink it, you'll get your daily dose of vitamin C. It's high in magnesium and potassium. It's a natural electrolyte. Um, so many amazing benefits. And I'm gonna talk about that in this older video that I'm gonna share here. But I'm just giving you a heads up. It's gonna um, transition to this other white kitchen, not where I live now, but uh, it, it's very helpful. There's also a printable recipe that you can just click the link down here and I'll talk more about that in the other video. So without any further ado, let's learn how to make Baobab tea. And today I'm going to show you how to make an immune boosting drink, um, Baobab tea. And one of the things we can do, I, I did an Instagram um, live yesterday or two days ago, and I gave three tips for staying calm, three things you can do to stay calm during this very difficult time in our country. And I sent it to my email list as well. And I got such a good response from that. So many of you. And one of the things I mentioned was add immune boosting foods to your diet. And I mentioned that baobab was one of my favorite immune boosting foods. And it's easy to add to pretty much anything and everything. So I'm just going to show you today how I make it. I know there are varying recipes and whatever. But this is just how I make it at my house. And we do have some colds and things going around. So... We're going to be drinking more of this in the coming days. But you start with um, oolong tea. You can use any kind of tea. It doesn't have to be oolong. But oolong has additional health benefits. And so I like to use oolong whenever I can. Um, and then, of course, we have baobab powder. You, I use the baobab boost powder from Trim Healthy Mama. But you can also find baobab powder um, online at Amazon. Um, I use the Trim Healthy Mama Pure Stevia Extract, by far the best stevia that I've ever had. And really, that's all that you need are those three ingredients. But sometimes I add a few extra things, and I'll get there in a minute. But first of all, I wanted to give you some reasons why Baobab is one of my favorite things. And this is taken from a, a Facebook post by Trim Healthy Mama. Um, reasons why Baobab Boost Powder is a super supplement. And I just wanted to give you a few reasons why you should be adding this into your diet if you aren't already. One is it contains the highest amount of disease-fighting antioxidants in, on the planet. More than any other food that you can find, there are more antioxidants in baobab. It has one of the highest vitamin C contents of all foods, 10 times more vitamin C than oranges. And we all know that oranges are high in vitamin C and people say to eat them often for that reason. Baobab has 10 times more vitamin C than oranges. It has twice the iron of spinach. And as a bonus, whenever you are having it with vitamin C, it helps your body to absorb the iron more readily. Twice the calcium of milk five times the fiber of oats, and six times the amount of potassium than bananas. So you can see, this really is a superfood supplement. And I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to get it into your everyday diet. So I have here, I have two um, oolong tea bags. 
and I let them steep, should let them steep for at least five minutes. Um, I have let them steep a lot longer than that before and that's totally fine. And then I, for a quart size, I like to use four dunks of stevia. Now you can make it more or less sweet depending on your personal preference. I personally like sweet tea and I grew up in East Tennessee, so um, I come by honest, you could say. So I put four dunks, but if you don't like it as sweet, you could put in just two or three or one or none if you don't like it sweet at all. That's totally fine. And then two teaspoons of baobab. And if you do it whenever um, your tea is still kind of hot, it helps it to mix a little bit better because the baobab has a tendency it can kind of clump a little bit. And if all else fails, you can get your little um, milk frother. We've talked about milk frothers before and how much I love them for um, putting collagen in my coffee or MCT oil in my coffee. It works great here too for a baobab, another great use for that. Then after I have that, um, I like to add fresh lemon slices to it. It just adds lemon flavor and it makes it pretty besides. So I put that in. And now in the recipe that I have linked here, you can get your own printable recipe through the link that's here in this post. But I don't have these extras in the recipe. But sometimes I'm just gonna give you some bonus things that I add to this. I have apricot extract, which is really good to add to it if you want a little more flavor. Just a little bit is fine. And then I like to add um, apple cider vinegar with the mother, just a splash. And the baobab and lemon helps to mask the vinegar flavor if you don't like the flavor so much. But I don't think you can taste it at all. My kids drink it that way even and like it. And again, it's a good way to just get some nutrition to you and, and help your body stay healthy so that you can um, fight off infections and so that you don't get sick. So then after I add all those things, I just put ice in as much as you want there. And then if you need a little more water than that, you can just fill it to the top with water. And then you have a quart of baobab lemon tea. And it kind of tastes like um, a mix between tea and lemonade. Now, growing up in East Tennessee, my mama would always add a packet of what was it? Lemon, lemonade, Kool-Aid maybe to her tea? I don't know, but she made like lemon tea. And that is exactly what this tastes like and reminds me of. Again, it's a super easy way to add that baobab into your diet. A, shot, a, a super shot of vitamin C, fiber, potassium, all of these good things, even calcium. And all you have to do is just add it to your drink. Now you can add baobab. Baobab is a fruit, by the way that's grown in Africa, I believe. Um, and this powder is the fruit dries and then it just crumbles into this powder and that's what this is. Um, but anyways, you can add it to oatmeal, you can add it to smoothies, you can add it to pretty much anything. And people often will ask, does Baobab have a taste or does it have a flavor? And I think it does have a little bit of flavor and it's kind of a citrusy flavor. I've, I've heard some people say it tastes like sherbet. I wouldn't say sherbet. I would say it's a, a very light citrus flavor, like a lemony lime orange kind of flavor. Works perfect for tea, especially if you add the extra lemon to it. And if you click the link here in this post, then you can get your own free printable recipe of this Baobab tea and you all you have to do is put your email in and it will send you it will send the recipe right to your email and you can download it and print it and then you can use it for um whenever you want to make it and there's also a special offer included there only for those who download it from their email only for those who put their email address in to receive the recipe there's a special offer for you guys so i hope you guys are well tell me how you're doing i'll come back and check these um these messages and look forward to hearing from you. I hope you're well. Do all you can to stay well, stay hydrated, make some of this Baobab tea, and then let me know what you think about it. See you later, guys.